learning a new language and then becoming a world champion in it. We'll meet Nigel Richards of New Zealand. On Monday, he won the Francophone Classic Scrabble World Championship. That's the French language tournament for the world game. Now, here's what's amazing. Richard doesn't speak French. He spent nine weeks memorizing French words for the tournament. So he knows the words, but not what they mean. Richards had won five in North America and also some three World Scrabble Championships. Those were all in English, which is the language he speaks. Now, that's more titles than any other competitor. Before his victory on Monday, he was ranked as the best Scrabble player of all time. Wow. Holy cow. Quite the linguist right there. Yeah, but not really. Yeah. He doesn't even know what they mean. Well, I still wouldn't want to challenge his vocabulary, English or French. I wouldn't either, but I think if I was going to do that, I think I would learn the language. Yeah, I think, I think so he's too. kind of cutting corners. But. Well, the word score to uh, describe today's weather would be uh, pretty small, or actually tomorrow's weather too, H-O-T. Uh, you wouldn't get too many points for that. Humid, you might get a few more points for that one. That's also going to be in the forecast for today and tomorrow. Here's the